What is good, Cardano fam, Ada gang. We have tons of exciting news to unpack today. So hit the subscribe, hit the like. Starting with the price, we've been pumping. I saw some considerable gains, nice gains today. 6-7% increase. So Cardano, the volume is surging. And this coincides with active addresses, 30,000 active addresses in the last 24 hours. And on CoinGlass, we can see an increase in volume, a surge, 564 million, an over 200% increase in the volume, but also open interest increasing, volume has been surging. So we're gonna to continue to monitor this and I expect this to increase as we approach Chang Hard Fork, which is very soon, we have a date for that. But first, Robinhood acquired Bitstamp. Very recent, I heard it was something like 200 million. Bitstamp has ADA support more liquidity and exposure for Cardano. Now, guys, we'll wait and see what happens because I did see how Robinhood, when they listed Cardano, delisted Cardano, many exchanges because the SEC would list and delist a variety of projects, but this is good. If Bitstamp and Cardano ADA just remain to be listed via Robinhood or however this evolves after this acquisition, this is great because we need more ways for us to on and off ramp into Cardano, more liquidity into it, and it's just a matter of time. So this is a big thing for crypto. Um, it's it's great for Cardano and all of crypto because we see that Robin Hood's like, yep, let it let us buy this, let's get this exchange, and let's get ready for the catapult for Q4 and beyond. We're not even there yet, guys, with the dumb money. The dumb money is slowly trickling in. So that date for the Chang Hard Fork, Chang Hard Fork window, we see target July 17th. Now Chang Hard Fork is very important. And let's take a look at this beautiful post as to why. We have some beautiful things coming to Cardano. Chang Hard Fork for governance. We have access to about 1.54 billion ADA at its current valuation, like, right? We're talking hundreds of millions of dollars, if not billion plus dollars. Uroboros Leos, high throughput. Partner chains, right? We saw the discussion of enhancing different chains, uplifting proof of work chains. So that's an amazing thing. Partner chains with the interoperability is great. Hydra scaling, Midnight privacy layer. I saw discussions about a potential airdrop. So I think Midnight will play a key role. We saw how Tornado Cash was pushed left and right. And even though founders use Tornado Cash, even though you can use it for good intentions, we can see how the war on privacy is just increasing. So a lot of beautiful things. And we can see that Cardano is solving that blockchain trilemma. Sustainability, scalability, performance, zero hacks. Zero hacks with about 63% of Cardano staked. Let's take a look at some recaps. What's going on? Beautiful tweets by IOHK. Core technology. The Ledger team improved CDDL specification, enhanced safety protocols, and test case distribution tools worked on UTXO predicted, predicate failure testing, my goodness, the jargon here, and issued more fixes and improvements. Lace, of course, we covered the other day where they uh, included an update for Fiat on-ramp with Banksa for easier funding, a multi-delegation for supported hardware wallets and improved staking pool search. The Mithril team continued impl implementing Cardano transaction certification in Mithril networks, improving throughput and addressing performance bottlenecks. SanchoNet, the Ledger team continued testing the Conway era and improving conformance tests. They identified and fixed several bugs related to DREP expiry and committee voting threshold. Important feature was implemented to avoid deadlock during bootstrap phase. Catalyst, the Catalyst team just concluded its 165th town hall. The team shared some important updates. The review period for LVOs and LV1s have ended and the LV2 moderation phase will start on June 13th. Finally, education. A lot of events are happening. If you guys are interested in events, a lot of things are happening concurrently. The education team continued working on mastering Cardano and supporting the DREP Pioneer program. They also continued preparing for the next Cardano developer course. Now, in a future video, I'm gonna talk about the nonsense from Bankless. It's gonna be its own video because people love to FUD Cardano, but every day it's bustling with news. Every day it's bustling with different things being developed, different things actually happening. And I love the front end dApps that 
developers and in-house have been putting together like Lace Wallet, like many other stuff that we see. So uh, like Book.io, like many other platforms are bubbly and refreshing and we have the holders, we have the community, we have the treasury, we have the governance coming, we have the decentralization, we have so many things lined up. So I'm excited to see how will Q3 and Q4 shape up for Cardano. Some people are calling for like $10, but let's remember guys, like this chart, right? We're doing pretty well, we're doing pretty good. Now we're not at all time highs, but some projects did not even reach an all time high in 2021 many there's many of them in the top 100 that are just absolute trash like audius trying to be a soundcloud competitor as their ambassadors like skrillex and deadmau5 don't even post there or many other projects that never even reached a new peak like cardano did so i think that sometimes some of these projects are late bloomers and cardano was such as we saw it had a home run at the tail end of the bull run before we had the nft run that came a few months later. So I would say that uh, I'm gonna continue to monitor what's going on with NVIDIA, Russell Index, S&P 500, all this stuff. And I think that Q4 and beyond is gonna be iconic. We're in a very interesting point in time, guys, where we have guys like Jim Cramer just laughing and telling Gary Gensler when Bonk ETF, when Cardano ETF. And we see that these ETPs are institutional grade, something that Cardano is offering people that other ETFs cannot like the staking rewards and no vesting period, etc. So I think that Cardano is ready to explode. It's just a matter of time. And I think it's foolish to bet against like an OG co-founder of ETH uh, to put your bets on some random Anon guy, like on Twitter or something. Even don't take my word for it. You know, I just like to document what I see because I have a Cardano bag. It excites me. I've been in Cardano since 2020. And I think that it has a future, but sometimes... Uh, slow progress is the best progress, especially when it comes to hacks where we see billion dollar figures over there and other chains. And with Cardano, there is no hack. It's so reliable, it's so robust, and, and it's been built that way from the beginning. So while other projects, you know, blessings to them and great for them, I think that Cardano has a beautiful brand intimacy, narrative, charismatic leadership, strong presence, grassroots, engaged with the community, strong community. And so as a, as a marketing guy, as a UX designer, I think that desirability, feasibility, viability are there. We just now have to wait patiently to see more adoption, more ramps to feed in more liquidity, snack on Binance, all those different things that will happen. It's just going to take some time. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys already know about this drama with Bankless? Check out my video on that. It's coming up. And uh, yeah, guys. Let's strap up, get ready, Cardano gang. We're gonna get ready for some Moon Mars action. It's just gonna take some time at this point. If it does go below, like if it just, let's just say there's some black swan event or something and it comes down to these prices, I will be scooping up. Those are like my buying prices. It's like 24 cent to 39 cent. That's the price range I really like. We almost went down there, but we didn't. Like when we were uh, tumbling down to 42 cent. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, what are you most excited for Cardano? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you hate it when I pronounce it Cardano and not Cardano? Is it a better pronunciation than Jim Cramer's Cordana? <laughs> so it is what it is. Guys, hit that subscribe, hit that like. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.